Hello again, everyone. My name is Janice Moisey with Key to Texas Realty. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about the pre-approval letter. Hopefully, you have had the opportunity to watch my uh, first video I put out, which talked about the home buying process. It's a 27-minute uh, video. It's very detailed. But now I want to break it out for you in smaller pieces or smaller sections so that you understand uh, the process uh, in more detail and uh, more clearly. My background is I have a degree in marketing from the University of Houston. I'm originally from Chicago, consider myself Texan, been here for over 25 years, homeowner, one son, one daughter. I'm an investor, writer, publisher, and cook. And as you know from the last video, I love, love, love to cook. My experience, I uh, used to originate loans. I had my own mortgage company. I worked for a custom home builder, and I also uh, worked for a company that did uh, renovations. Now, the agenda for today, we're gonna talk about the pre-qualification letter, the pre-approval letter, the conditional approval letter. Uh, any one of these letters can be issued to you, uh, the home buyer. Uh, the one that holds the most weight, of course, is a conditional approval letter, and I'll explain to you what that means uh, in a minute. Uh, the pre-qualification letter is a letter that is sometimes issued when you've spoken to a lender or your loan officer and you just give them just basic information about yourself you say okay uh, this is how much money I make I pull my credit from one of those sites this is the credit score they gave me you also let the loan officer know okay this is um, what's in my bank account and based on uh, the little information that you're providing to them they kind of run some numbers and they kind of give you an idea of what they think uh, you can afford at that time now they have not verified anything they have not looked at any paycheck stuffs they have not looked at any w-2s they have not looked at any tax returns they have not even seen your uh, bank statement so those are considered pre-qualification letters now when you bump it up and you go to the pre-approval letter at this point you've made application on the first one, you have not made application, but for the pre-approval letter, you have actually made an application with the lender. They've had a uh, chance to look at your W-2s, your paycheck stubs, your bank statements. They've actually pulled your credit at this point. So they can issue what is called a, a pre-approval letter and then you're gonna go out and look for a property. Now for the conditional approval letter, uh, the lender or the loan officer can sometimes uh, submit your file up to underwriting just so that they can do a, uh, 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 they can look at the file itself, uh, try to uh, underwrite it without a property, but basically they're going to put some conditions on it. They're going to say, okay, this person looks good. Um, they've checked uh, certain things out on you. They may have verified employment and things of that nature. They've kind of put you through the process, but it's kind of like half the process you would actually go through uh, that you would go through uh, had you had a property. But this is just to get the file halfway finished. So once you get that conditional approval letter, all you need now is a property. Once you get that property, then uh, they're going to require you to have that appraisal done, have that survey done. They're going to need that title commitment and things like that. But it's going to take a, a, a lot. Uh, it's going to take, I should say, um, the process won't be as long on a conditional approval letter as it would be on the uh, pre-approval. So um, a lot of times people will say, well, is it guaranteed that nothing will go wrong once I get this conditional approval letter? Well, that's hard to say. You can't guarantee in any one of these circumstances that nothing will go wrong. Definitely not the second and the last one. In other words, the pre-approval uh, letter and the conditional approval letter, because like I said in that first video, if you break one of those 10 commandments of home buying, meaning if you go out and buy a car, you're going to mess up your debt ratios, depending on if they were tight or if you were barely, you know, flying in under the radar in order to get that loan. If you go out and open up new credit, if you go out and co-sign for someone, um, if you start uh, raising red flags by dumping um, large deposits and uh, money into your uh, checking or savings account. These are things that will make the underwriter kind of look at you um, uh, a little differently because they're going to wonder what's going on with you, what's going on with this file. So you have things on your side that you need to be doing once you get this uh, conditional approval letter and pre-approval letter. Uh, there are things that you should not be doing. So that's why you need to work very closely with your loan officer and tell them what you want to do or would like to do or are about to do before you actually do it. And they'll let you know, hey, 
let's just wait until you're done with this whole long process then you can do a b or c so again you will be issued one of these letters so that you can give to your realtor to submit with your offer and there is no guarantee that nothing can and will go wrong during the process um, um, during one of these stages because any again any and everything can happen uh, uh, and some of those things being you go out, you buy something or you go out, uh, maybe you uh, change jobs or, or something like that. So, again, just be very careful about the things that you do during this process and it'll help things uh, go a whole lot smoother. Uh, and uh, here's my um, sample of the conditional approval letter that the lender uh, will issue to you. Um, and you just give this letter to your agent and when you find a home, they will make an offer uh, on your behalf. Again, if you have questions, just send me an email or you can give me a phone call. I do have a uh, free ebook uh, called Insider Secrets for First Time Home Buying. If you would like a copy of that, just uh, shoot me, uh, uh, click the link below this uh, video and I will get that copy sent over to you right away. Thanks for watching and I will be posting more videos like this. I'm going down the checklist of the uh, home buying process to explain in more details about the, uh, the process. Thanks for watching.